Hello everybody, I am Jay Leonard Jane. Today we're gonna to be creating brand new guitar tones with the Blue Cat Axiom. Well, for all you guitar players out there that just wanna plug into your computer and start rocking out, I got a pretty cool plugin for you. It also is a standalone app and it's called the Axiom by Blue Cat. Now, what makes this unique is that most like guitar rig apps that I see, uh, they have a very specific amp. This is your Marshall sound, your Fender sound, your like Vox AC30 sound. Uh, this is your Tube Screamer pedal. With this little app here, you really can dig deep and create completely unheard of guitar amps and guitar tones uh, to really cater it and tweak it exactly the way you want it so it responds exactly how you want it. You can go pretty easy with it or go super, super deep dive. And what's really neat about this, playing with this, is it kind of gave me an understanding of exactly how these like little plugins actually put your tone together. So what we're gonna do today is I'll show you some of the plugins on this thing, and we're also gonna create some sounds completely from scratch. We're gonna create a brand new, like never ever created before amplifier, all right? So let's dig in and get to work. Well, this is the Blue Cat app right over here. You can see uh, that we have it separated into different sections. You could put different plugins uh, into the input side. You could put some stuff in the uh, master bus. And we also have your amp, your like pedal chain, your effects loop pedals over here. And there's also two chains you can choose from A and B. So you can blend them or pan them, create your own stereo kind of thing, all right? So let's start off simple and just kind of get an idea of what this thing sounds like by playing with some default, or presets, sorry. Let's go into here and let's go get like what, crunch and effects. Let's see here, dual crunch tape echo. Let's see what this sounds like. <laughs> So there are a lot of presets here, so you could just grab one and start tweaking from there. Let's go to that tape echo. I could edit it just by clicking here. And let's turn into a slapback delay, turn the feedback down, make it like, yeah, 140. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> Super, super, super cool. And you can see, I actually have two amps in this preset too. There's like a basement thing, and then there's that crunch sound. Let's try another one. Uh, let's see here, they have one here, Guitar Legends. Ooh, what do we got here? Ain't talking about eruption. Hmm. <laughs> So 
that's definitely the Van Halen ain't talking about love sound. But you can see I got the Telecaster. I got like the <laughs> single coil pickup. So here's a really cool thing we can do. I'm gonna go in the input section and check this out here. This is something I found. Built-in effects. They have a thing called Re-Guitar. And this seat I have, I could turn my single coil, my bright Tele pickup into a humbucker. And let's go modern bucker, nice and high end, high output. And let's see if that changes my sound. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of neat. I could actually get like a pretty cool approximations of different kinds of humbuckers and uh, different, we got wide jazz and like, even acoustic sounds. Uh, now, pretend I actually just want to keep my humbucker on for all my presets. And obviously you see as I change presets, uh, the whole rig changes. So if I want this input to stay the same, I could actually just lock it. And then no matter what preset I'm on, it'll lock. And you could actually do that with, I think, almost every little section here of this rig as well. So it's pretty, pretty expandable. So now let's build a rig from scratch, okay? We're gonna create our own sound. Let's get something like, you know, slightly edgy, you know, like on the cusp of distortion. Maybe it's like kind of overdriving a little bit. Let's get something like that. So uh, let's get a brand new default blank canvas over here. Uh, first, let's tune. <laughs> oh, the telly's holding up all right. All right, so what you need to do is if we start with an amp, I think that's the best way to do it. Uh, we have amps over here and we could actually go presets. There's different amp sounds that they've pre-programmed and stuff, but we're gonna create something from scratch and this is how I like to do it. See this little button over here? I'm gonna click this and we get this weird space map. If I press here, these are all the presets that I was kind of scrolling through earlier. We want to get something kind of slightly overdriven. So let's go to the crunch section. And these are all the crunch presets and we could actually audition them. Uh, Blues Dirt. That sounds nice. I'm going to press a check mark here and you can see it kind of shows up right over there. Uh, let's find some other ones. 15 Crunch. That sounds really nice too. Let's press a pr uh, plus mark and you can see it shows up on our little weird map. And let's pick one more, uh, B-Grass Comp. Yeah, there you go. So now we have three different sounds, three different EQ curves and responses. I could actually now use this little thing here to find a sweet spot of the three amps that I kind of like. That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. And then a really quick way, I actually just came up with a whole amp setup. Very, very nice. Now, we don't just stop there. You can stop there if you want, but if you wanna dig even deeper, we can go even deeper. See this little E, we're gonna press this and now we're into the deep editor here. We can add a gate, uh, we had a little compression just to add that sense of sag when we go into an amplifier. Now we have the amp divided into three sections. We have a preamp, the destruction, which is, I guess, the way it kind of gains up, the way it's gonna, the characteristics of its distortion. And finally, the post filter, which is the cab, right? So let's go dial it in. We have our preamp.
So this just rolls off the treble so we could kind of get rid of the really stinging highs by turning it down a bit. And I can hear this kind of like a mid-range that's bothering me here. So we could actually dial that out by actually going even deeper into the preamp with this. And now we actually have a full on EQ curve. There, and I could actually duck it out a little bit more. Man, so again, you can see I'm really, really able to change things. We could look at the way it distorts. Right now we have a custom setting. Let's play with something else. Let's go to select, factory, and let's see here. Typical guitar, slow, cold, hot tube. Let's see that. Completely different response. Really hot sounding too. It's almost like uh, Tweety in a way, or maybe Voxy. And you could actually see this drive knob here corresponds with the drive knob right over here. You see how that works? Pretty neat, pretty neat. And now lastly, we have the post filter. Um, right now we're on like a 115 vintage bass cab sound. Let's do a 212, let's see here. Guitar cabs, let's go 212. And uh, hmm, let's see your B face. And again, these actually have deeper editing parameters as well. getting crispy now. Very, very nice. And let's just stop there. Let's just stop there. We have a really kind of bright, edgy sounding amp right now. Has a lot of mid-range to it as well. Let's add a little bit of delay and reverb uh, here. Let's go into the uh, post effects section. Let's see here, delay and reverb. Here's our reverb. Let's put on something a little bit longer. Mm, there we go. get a fuzz <laughs> just for the fun of it uh let's see your distortion do they have a fuzz yeah fuzzy tone
it's like a very stingy mid rangey uh, fuzz. Last but not least, let's go add like another amp too. Uh, let's go turn this on and let's see what we have. Hmm, let's see here. Crunch, wait, B man high. Oh, I gotta move the mix all the way over here. Now I can pan, see I could have a pan for them, blend them in, let's blend them in together and find a nice middle ground. Right now I have all of the delay and reverb on just this amplifier. So actually, let's go move the reverb to this master suite. I'll turn this off just for the fun of it. a brand new amp. Now I'm going to show you one more thing. Now uh, what we could also do is we could put in our own VSTs from our own VST collection and we could also even put in like VST instruments. I have a tool. Let's see here. There is tools and I actually have a drum machine thing. So let's go put that in there. Load VST. There's my drum machine. Now all of a sudden I have my drum machine running within Axiom. I'm actually using the standalone unit. Remember, I'm not in my DAW right now. And so let's go find, I don't know, a nice little preset to work with or a drum loop to work with, I mean. Let's go here, Studio Percussion Kit, Funk. And that is the Blue Cat Axiom. Well, that is it. That is the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't done so already. Check out the links in the description below. And if you want to hear my review on the Blue Cat Axiom, check it out on Patreon. I do all my reviews on Patreon, sponsored by the Patreon supporters, and all my demos, uh, tutorials, everything else. It's right here on YouTube. Now, my questions for the subscribers today is, well, I only have one, and that is uh, how many of you out there only get your guitar sounds from your computer. So how many of you use either a VST plugin or a standalone app and don't have any amps sitting around your house? How many of you are just 100% in the box digital? Let me know right in the comment section below. That being said, I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.